Welcome back. Today I show you how to code a program that creates a small and very simple random number generator. What you see on the screen right now is the usual that I start out with. You see program or program uh, include IO stream using the ASP standard in, in main. The first thing we have to do is actually include a few more things for the program to actually work. First thing we have to include is C time, which is necessary for the time portion of the code, which we will use to tell the program to generate a random number every second. Next thing is include CSTDLIB. This is required for the actual random code. We'll be using RAND, R A N D. Now that we have that, we can start declaring variables. For this, we just have to declare two variables for now. In a field, declare another variable to loop this program several times. But right now, we just I want to use int, max, and random number. Max is the maximum value the user will input, and the random number is actually the answer that we will output later on. We just start out with a simple C out. We'll do please input max integer. C in max. We're just telling, we're just asking the user to input the maximum number the user wants to use in the random number generator. If it's 15, then the program will be 15. If it's 100, the program will be 100. Now we bring an SRAND into play. SRAND time zero, close parentheses. This is basically telling the program to set a random number every second that we run the program. And we can use this because we declared C time earlier in the program right here. Now we have the actual randomization, randomizing code, or actually the equation with the random number. We declared this earlier here. Uh, we'll do for open parentheses, rand, open close parentheses, percentage, max, close parentheses, plus one. I'll explain this to you right now. Rand, open close parentheses, percentage max is the actual randomization code. The plus one isn't necessary, but I'll explain that as well. Rand is just randomizing the number. The percentage max telling what the max number will be. So if the user input 10 here, this max here will be 10. So meaning it will declare 0 through 9, actually, since it's a percentage sign. We put the plus 1 here so that it declares 1 through 10 instead of 0 through 9. If they put 15 here, it'll be 0 through 9. 0 through 14 here, the plus 1 makes it 1 through 15. It simplifies it as you will. Uh, then we just output the actual result with the random number. There's nothing fancy here. There's no uh, words, no sentences telling you like my other programs. And remember your system pause. So the program pauses after it runs the equation so that it doesn't end. Let's run it. You can debug. And it works. Please input the max integer. We'll do 5. Two. Answer is two right here. Let's press any to get a key to continue. Let's do it again. Let's do fifteen this time. Thirteen. Please press any key to continue. It's pretty simple. Um, we can go. If you want to loop it, uh, we can go back and declare the value here. We'll do i. I mean, if you want to run this over and over again, it, it can get pretty annoying if you have to do this ten times. You have to keep opening and closing the program every time you run it. So let's do this. Four i equals to zero. I is less than or equal to less to five. And i equals to i plus one. Open and remember to close it here. If you want an explanation of how the for loop actually works, please take a look at my other video explaining it. Uh, I should be linking it from the YouTube video as well. It explains to you that the program will run five times before the system pause actually comes up. Uh, but for a cleaner explanation, just view that video. Let's run it. Let's try it now. Let's do please input max integer. Let's do 5. It gets 5. No problem. Let's do 15. 15. 20. 7. Yeah. You thought uh, I kept giving the max integer, but it's not. 20 is 7. Let's do 25. 13. Let's do 15 again. See what happens. It's 14. Let's do one more time. I guess we have one more time. Let's do 36. 16. It ran six times. Uh, since I started out with zero, if I start out with one, it'll be five times. Uh, it's a pretty simple randomization program. It's very simple. It shows you how to use RAND and SRAND. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.